Greetings wielders, the year is beginning to close on us and it's time for Roadmap Reminiscence. No, let's call it Roadmap Reflection. In the end, we'll sort of go through the roadmap that we have. And let's see how many boxes we've already checked. 2023 has been super hectic for us at Lava Potion in a good, good way. We're talking updates nearly every month. And right now we're gonna take this opportunity to sort of delve deep and look at what we've done in the year that's passed. So let's start with the obvious one, the Barony of Loth. During the Barony of Loth campaign, we get to beat the troubled Baron, but also the more mysterious Unseen Society. We get to learn why the Barony of Loth allied themselves with such strange companions, and how come there's so many undead in their ranks. During 2023, the AI has taken leaps and bounds. It's gotten better at using mules and dividing different roles to their wielders like frontline ones, magic user, and those before mentioned mules, making sure that their frontline wielders have troops so they can harass you or defend against you. The AI has also gotten a lot better at defense. If it can't beat you, it will sort of try to defend itself in a settlement and even build walls. Our main goal is to make sure that the AI is diverse. We're not talking cyberdyne systems kind of things here, but we are talking AIs that can challenge you in the difficulties that you want. And the AI is far from everything that's faster. Let's talk about multiplayer. During 2023, we introduced sim turns, making sure that you can do a lot of stuff while someone else is playing. For example, you can explore the adventure map, improve your city, grab resources, and plan your next move, all at the same time while someone else is engaged in combat. This really makes multiplayer games a lot quicker. Let's not forget modding. This year has been great for modders. Our modders, you guys, the community. We have launched a new website giving you tips, tools, and tricks. And more besides, we launched our own custom campaign with Robinhood. Uh, we've mentioned that so many times already. We're also hosting a campaign contest together with Mod.io where we give you guys money to create campaigns in our game. And speaking about maps, we've added four new skirmish maps. Or maybe there's more. Who can tell by this point? There's just so much additions. There's Triad Pass, there's Proving Grounds, there's Divided, and there's Rags to Riches. If you haven't played these already, you should. But it's just not our already created maps that gotten love and appreciation. One of our team members had devoted himself into improving the random map gender since we know that a lot of you are playing on it, and it looks great. There's now atmosphere, there's new rules for how you start, and there's a lot more variation and different map settings. We are amazed by the love we're getting from the community, but it is not just you guys. We've also been recognized in several other medias, and we've gotten nominations. One of them is the Swedish Game Award, the other one is the Unity Awards, where we get nominated for Best 2D Art. It's awesome. No, we didn't win. Aww. Curse you, Marvel. <laughs> On the roadmap, there's something called initial user experience. What's that? Well, it's how you sort of see the game the first time you're in it. That means a new main menu. This one is the pride of our only UI and look and feel department, and they really, really worked on it. We're proud to present it. It looks great, and it really shows our game in a way that it didn't do before. It's interchangeable with seasons, and right now you can enjoy a nice, festive feel for it. We hope you like it as much as we do. But I couldn't finish this video or make this video without mentioning that we're Steam Deck verified. I know I just talked about it in our last video, but it's still a major thing. We also made a lot of work together with Bitwave to make sure that we're gamepad compatible, making sure that you can enjoy Songs of Conquest your own way. And before I round up with a sort of an adieu from us at Lava Potion, you should take a gander at the updated changelog and you can see how much work we have been doing. We hope you've enjoyed this year as much as we have. Is there anything about this that you liked in particular? Or is it anything that you really think that we sort of left behind and should focus on moving ahead? We have so many more news ahead and next year is gonna be filled with exciting stuff. So from everyone here at Lava Potion, <laughs> Happy Holidays and Gold Jewel! Wink, 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 wink.